have a lot to catch you up on. I need to introduce the Maldives vlog and all of that, but I need to wash and get ready for dinner. And I have to show you where I'm having my bath. Look at the hang on. Let me step back. Look at that. Just what on earth? This is insane. appearance <laughs> I'm just getting ready to go out on the beach but um, welcome to the Maldives vlog I um, hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as I am this place is insanely beautiful um, I'll talk about that more later I'm sure but anywho before we get started I have a few things to tell you guys so if you are a very keen observer um, you'll notice that there seems to be a date missing because I was supposed to go Ladakh to Colombo, Colombo to Maldives. Um, and it's not just me getting my dates mixed up again, although that does happen. <laughs> but uh, so what happened was we arrive in Colombo from getting from immigration out the door. Well, at least I think this is where it was lost or stolen. My passport went missing. Great news. This is the only country we're in for a night and the passport goes missing. So anyway, next morning, it's in the next morning when we discover it's missing as we're about to leave for the airport to our flight to here. And obviously I'm panicking, crying a little bit. I was like, it must be at the airport because it wasn't anywhere at the hotel or in my bags or in any of our bags. You guys know I've traveled quite a bit in the world and I've never managed to lose it. It's always in the front of my mind, like where it is. We go to the airport, it's nowhere to be found. So I am crying quite a lot at this point. Um, my mum offers to stay, but of course I was like, no, you absolutely have to go to the Maldives. There's no point changing everyone's flights. I just changed my flight and um, you go to the Maldives, I will stay here. So basically I ended up spending another night, a second night in the in Colombo because they couldn't make my passport and fly me out that day. So I went from the airport, having said goodbye to my family, to the police station at the airport to tell, to like register it lost, um, which you have to do. And then went to get a picture taken, a passport photo taken. And then I went back to the hotel, chilled out all day. I was a little bit um, upset. I probably should have done some editing or something because the internet was really good in Colombo. But I really couldn't be bothered because I was just a bit <laughs> not feeling great. Um, but it was fine. To be to be honest, everything was as smooth as it could have been. Um, and every, all the Sri Lankan people were so nice. And obviously the hotel was lovely. So it certainly was not the end of the world. But <laughs> I was just a bit like, why me? Um, and then went to in the morning so um this guy picked me up at 6 30 took me to the embassy which was great i was being shuttled around everywhere so like i say it was as smooth as it could have been um took me to the embassy i gave them all my forms and um she said come back in an hour and a half and she's giving me this passport which i'm going to show you guys look at this look how pretty it is it's cream obviously a british passport is usually um like a burgundy color you guys know a passport color um, but it's cream and it says <laughs> emergency passport on it. So yeah, what happens is they usually let you, they usually ask what your travel details are and they'll let you continue your trip. You don't have to fly straight home or anything. And then when you get to customs, they don't let you keep it. They have to take it away from you so you don't attempt to use it again, which is a bit sad, but cute, right? Then I took the same flight the following day. They didn't have a seaplane, which is what um, the rest of my family took the previous day. So I took a domestic flight. To a nearby island and then a boat here. Um, but anyway, 
I'm here now. It's all part of living the adventure. And um, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous here. We cycled to breakfast this morning because all the villas are quite, it's like a whole island, the hotel. So all the villas are quite spaced out. So you get a bit of privacy. So you have to kind of cycle around a little bit, um, which is really cute. Or they take you by a golf cart. So she should be planning to drink. Because I don't think my cycling is quite up to uh, alcohol standards. Um, and then we just did a little tour of the island actually. Yeah, they have everything from like a cinema to they grow all their own food. Well, not all their own food. They grow, I think she said 20% of the veggies and stuff that we eat will be grown here, which is quite impressive. Um, they grow their own mushrooms. There's a mushroom room, which is so bizarre. And I saw some baby bunnies. Um, and now I'm going to go out and lie on our little bit of beach. It looks totally ridiculous, guys, but... I like resting my hat on the top of my head when I'm sunbathing because first of all you get the cat well I should really get a visor or something but at the same time I still have the same problem with a visor because I don't like it like resting like this bit resting on my forehead whilst I'm getting sweaty and stuff just rest it on top of the head so I get this bit and I get protection on my scalp problem this morning guys it's raining cats and dogs which I know we've come to the Maldives at kind of the wrong time of year but is it too much to ask for to have more than half a sunny day I think my family had a sunny day the day before I came so we can't ride our bikes to breakfast guys I am just sitting outside at the moment I'm gonna read my book for um, an hour or so I'm actually going for a wax um, and I haven't had a wax since before I went to New York because I just haven't had time <laughs> bread and fruit, well no, fruit salad room and cereal room. Look at all these jams and honeys, like 16 different types of honey. And then cereals. They usually have ice creams here for the rest of the day. Donuts. This is the fruit stall. Ooh, I'm gonna get yeah. some bits of nectarine. Hi guys, so I've been a bit lax with vlogging for the past couple of days. Um, yesterday I went swimming with these huge manta rays. They aren't actually giant manta rays, those are even bigger. But they were reef rays and I think they were like 
were like three meters across or something they were huge and what else did i do yesterday i had a massage which was amazing um it was so good and i felt so relaxed and amazing afterwards and today the sun came out um we watched a film in the morning but then the sun came out so we rushed outside it has been raining loads um but this evening is obviously our penultimate night is it? Is it Monday today? Yes. Indy's been keeping us waiting, getting ready, but today she is ready. Everybody else! Anywho, so we're gonna go to dinner tonight. Like I said, it's our penultimate night here. Hoping for more sunny weather tomorrow. I think we're having dinner on the beach tonight, which I'm excited for. guys i'm gonna end the maldives vlog here and this big long trip is finally finished it's actually the day after um i landed in the uk i am about to leave for edinburgh um i'm vlogging the whole thing in fact i'm leaving for manchester edinburgh tomorrow but anyway i'm vlogging the whole thing so the next vlog you're gonna get is a moving in vlog um but i just wanted to say thank you all for so much for watching the India vlogs and the Maldives vlog, um, it's been a real pleasure to do. It was the most amazing holiday and an amazing experience. I would love to return to India one day, I'd love to go back to Sri Lanka for more than two nights. Um, and um, the Maldives was just so beautiful. And yeah, I think my top things were, I loved Udaipur and Nalai, I loved looking for the leopards in Nalai and being in the jeep and also seeing some of the rural life. Um, I loved Udaipur as a city, the Taj Lake Palace Hotel, I think it was called, was stunning, I think it was probably my favourite hotel that we were in, and the City Palace was one of the more beautiful kind of palaces and forts and stuff that we saw. I loved um, shopping in Jodhpur, I really liked Delhi as well, a little bit more cosmopolitan and the history of Delhi was really interesting. Um, the hotel in Agra was amazing as well with that view of the Taj Mahal, I loved that. I um, definitely think it's worth doing the Taj Mahal even though um, it can obviously get super busy and crazy. I really liked Ladakh, I thought it was a very interesting place. I love being in the mountains like I said when I was there. Um, the white water rafting was great in the end, I think it was such a good experience to do white water rafting in the Himalayas. And some of my other favourite things, I loved um, swimming with the mantas in the Maldives, I thought that was a super cool thing to do. Yeah, I think those are my top highlights of the trip. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I will see you again soon for some moving in vlogs. Bye!